like we do with all our horses in the morning. So he should be a good boy to catch. Got him. <laughs> a bit rainy. <laughs> And today I'm going to be a groom for the day at World Horse Welfare's Glenderspooner Farm. I'm also here with Steph, who's going to be helping me out because obviously I'm somewhere new. I don't really know the horses, don't know where, for example, the mucking out tools are. So Steph, what are we going to be getting up to today? So you're here today on our vet and farrier day, which is one of our busiest days. So nice. we'll be plenty of things to do. <laughs> yes. Um, you can, we have a day list for each day. Great. And you're on here, so you'll know where you have to be and when. Um, and we've got lots to do. So should we get started? Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> okay, so the first job we're gonna do, we're gonna grab some head collars. Brilliant. Ready to go and check some horses out in the field. Cool. So if I Thanks. pass you those yep. ones, and then I'll get a slightly smaller one from one of the others. Brilliant. And our lead ropes are just in here. Cool. We get three, so we've got enough. Yep. Perfect. Great. <laughs> go. So we're gonna be checking these two horses over here. Okay. So this is Keith. Hi Keith. We're just going to do a normal field check with him yep. like we do with all our horses in the morning. So he should be a good boy to catch. Got him. <laughs> and so I don't think Keith was quite too sure about having somebody new intruding into his field <laughs> and then catching him. He wanted to stay eating the grass. Like yes. <laughs> good boy Keith. And then if you wanted me to hold him. Yep. And what we do is we take their rugs off. Okay. So that we can see all of him and make sure he's all okay. Good boy. <laughs> However, Keith was such a good boy when I was taking his rug off and he was definitely starting to get a little bit more used to me. And when I was talking to Steph, we we're actually talking about how I was wearing a bright blue coat, which is totally different to what all of the staff at World Horse Welfare wear. They usually wear navy, which is a darker colour. So maybe that was another reason why he was a little bit not too sure about me to start with. And then what we do, if you wanted to take your gloves off as I'm yep. holding him, we run our hands down all his legs, they're a little mm -hmm. bit muddy at the moment, yep. <laughs> just to check for any heat or swelling that he might have hurt himself overnight in the field. And we do this with all our horses every morning, just to make sure they're all right. That's good. <laughs> As you can see, this time of year in England, it gets so muddy. So when I was doing Keith's field check, my hands did get a little bit on the dirty side, but it was really good to make sure that he hadn't hurt himself over the night. And Keith's gonna be doing some work later as well. Oh. So we check that he's got all four of his shoes still to make sure he'll be okay to work. And it was good that Keith had all his four shoes still on because I was actually scheduled in to do some rehabilitation exercises with him in the indoor yep. that afternoon. That shoe is still on. Happy? Yep. Okay, once he's all checked, we'll put his rug back on again. Brilliant. <laughs> And then once I was done with Keith's field check and I'd put his rug back on, it was time to go on to some more horses. So next I went and caught Primrose, which again took me quite a bit of time. It took her a while to trust me, but we got there in the end. So this is Primrose, you might recognise her. Um, a few months back I actually did the World Horse Welfare Sculpture Trail and I painted a horse and the horse I was kind of allocated was Primrose, so here she is in real life. It's lovely to meet you. She's so cute guys, she makes me think of Mickey so much with her being a Cremello and her like blue eyes and everything. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> and then here I am struggling with the gate a little bit. I feel like all gates have their own kind of personality. They all need to be opened in a slightly That's different it. way. So I was just kind of getting the knack for that. And Primrose was go. so good when I asked her to back up so I could open the gate. And we were through, guys. We made it. Yeah. Cool. It's a bit rainy. 
Once I'd caught Primrose, it was then okay. time to lead her back into Let's the go. barn and give her a little bit of a wash down because today was one of those days where the sun's out for a few minutes and then suddenly it just starts pelting it down with rain. So we had some really strange weather. There we go, girl, nice and dry. <laughs> I think Primrose and I were both very glad to get out of the rain. Okay, so we've just brought Primrose into the wash yes. box. We're, as you can see, she's got quite muddy over the yes. last night. <laughs> so we're going to give her legs a really good wash off and her tail as well. So we can see her legs, make sure they're all alright. Okay. Let's get washing. <laughs> yeah. So here's our hose. Yep. And I'll let you have that. Cool. She's a good girl, so okay. she should be fine. If you just spray it next to her first, yep. so she's not too worried, she knows what's happening. And then go ahead cool. and start on her foot. That's it, perfect. And you can see Primrose is quite used to this now. She's yeah. a good girl. <laughs> so do you find with Primrose being a Cremello that she has quite sensitive skin that you have to treat? Yeah, she definitely did, especially when she first arrived. She had really badly burnt skin actually, oh, no. where she was so poorly. Yeah. She had skin on her shoulders was sort of coming away. Yeah. Um, on, all on her, her nose was really badly burnt. Yeah, because um, I have to put sun cream on my Cremello Mickey on yeah, his nose in yeah, the summer yeah, as well. Yeah, she's very, very so. similar to that. Yeah. Um, but as you can see, she's yeah, much she's better so now. Well. Yeah, she had to wear a fly mask, a fly sheet to yeah. keep her protected. Oh. Um, but yeah, she's actually on her website as a project pony. Oh, wow. Now that she's so much better. Yeah. So her lucky rehomer will have the potential to be able to back her in her home. Oh, that would be brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So Primrose has also had some foals, I believe, as well. She has. She came in with a foal at foot, who oh. was named Jellybean. Oh. <laughs> she has actually been rehomed since, which is brilliant. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, really good. She's doing really well. And she was pregnant as well yeah. when she came in. And yeah, she had a little Teddy, oh. who's actually down in the crew yard. Oh, it'll be lovely so to see him even. later. Yeah, yeah, he's doing really well. Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> he's recently been weaned, actually, not that long oh. ago. So, yeah. <laughs> Big boy now. <laughs> yeah, grown up, yeah. <laughs> Although it's a super cold day out today, this water is lovely and warm. And I think Primrose is loving having a good old wash down. <laughs> All right, so is that okay? Yeah, not a bad job. She looks cool. much better now. Yes. So what we were going to do next is give her a bit of a groom. Yeah. I think there must be something about Cremellos and how they just absolutely love mud because it looks like this girl has definitely been rolling this morning. <laughs> and now that she's ready to be rehomed as a project pony, mm -hmm. before she's allowed to leave, she has yeah. to be able to load into the trailer. Yes. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to practice is some loading with her. Oh, brilliant. Yes. Yeah? Okay, so now I've cleaned her up a bit. Are we doing some loading practice now? Yeah, we're going to go to our trailer out here. Oh, I've brilliant. put some tasty haylage in there. Lovely. So hopefully <laughs> she'll enjoy the experience. So all of our horses have to do this, just in case the perfect rehomer comes along. Yeah. And they can just go on their way. Oh, brilliant. See what she thinks. Yeah. <laughs> Then, in a matter of minutes, it went from winter to spring as the sun's finally decided to come out. So, if you just walk her up and see what she thinks, she's going to be a good oh, girl good and go girl. straight in. <laughs> and we she go. can just stay in there and have and some tasty halos. Yeah. <laughs> we try and make it as nice and as fun as possible yeah. so that they love going into the trailer. Oh, <laughs> what a good girl. <laughs> okay, we'll take her back into the barn. Brilliant. <laughs> See you later, Primrose. So this is Rocky. He hasn't actually been here at World Horse World for over that long. And his previous place, he hasn't been handled much. So this is all still a little bit new for him. And today he needs to go to the farrier. So let's go, mate. Something that I realised when I was at World Horse Welfare is how essential these grooms are because these grooms know their horses that they're allocated so well meaning when these horses get a vet check or a farrier check that they can talk to the farrier and the vets giving them crucial information. So we're also here with Ian the farrier and he's just giving Rocky a little check over okay. and just seeing how his hooves are. Oh. 
So Rocky is having a very busy day today because not only has he had the farrier done today, but he's also got the vet coming as well. We've got Jenny the vet here. Hi. Hi Rocky. Hi Esme. Hi. So um, I believe he's had some teeth taken out recently. Yeah, he has. So poor Rocky has had both of his central incisors removed. <laughs> um, they were picked up on a routine dental check yeah. about a month ago um, and they were both infected. So the surgery's gone really well. That's good. And today we're going to be checking those sockets, giving them a bit of a flush, nice. and checking um, that it's all going as it should be. Oh, great. <laughs> so he's just got a plug of food up there, which I'm just removing very gently. But these sockets are much smaller than they were last week. So I'm very pleased with his progress. Once Rocky was finished with the vet, we then went down to the crew yards for our last job before lunchtime. Okay. So, we're going to start doing some lunch yard duties. Brilliant. Just we do this up. at about half past 12 every day. Nice. So, we take out all the droppings, sweep back all the mats so it looks yep. nice and tidy, and we'll just give him some hay for lunch. Cool, so we're in the crew yard now. This aren't is we? our crew yard. Yes. We've got sand crew yards on the right hand side, straw crew yards on the left. Brilliant. So, okay. we're actually in Teddy's crew yard yes, at the moment. Yes, he is. So, yeah. he is Primrose's son? Yep, Primrose's yeah. baby. Oh, yep. So cute. So, let's get <laughs> Here's the tools. Brilliant. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> so, now I'm going to be emptying the hay net into here. Oh, there we go. Come get your lunch, boy. Let's open this up. Yeah. Good boy. Okay guys, we've just got back from lunch. Um, we're now here with Tish, which is one of the Tuesday afternoon volunteers here at World Wars Welfare. But I've also heard that you're called the Poo Crew as well. We are, because that's the main, the main object of the exercise on a Tuesday, yep. is to clean out the stables. Brilliant, so should we get stuck in there? Let's do Let's it. go. <laughs> and I'm here with Joan who's been very busy so far already today. You've made quite a lot of hay nets and with over 70 horses here at World Horse Welfare at Glenderspooner Farm, that is a lot of hay nets that need to be made. So let's crack on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So Joan here is just weighing some of the hay nets because obviously a lot of horses here are on very strict diets. Um, because some need to lose weight, some need to gain weight, so that's cool. three kilos. Brilliant. This is the way my wanted. Oh, mine's quite heavy. Oh wait, no. That, that's yeah, it's just, just a three. bit over three. Yeah. So we're back with Keith. This is actually the horse that we saw this morning that I took his red rug off, gave him a little check over and things. <laughs> hey mate. Um, so he's actually recently come back to Glenderspooner Farm. Um, he's, he was actually out um, at a loan home for quite a few years actually as a ridden horse. But now he's come back, he's getting a little bit older so he's a little bit arthritic at the back. So today we're going to be doing some work with him. I think we're going to be lunging him, going over some poles and things. Just sort of as a rehabilitation, just to sort of help him getting, getting a little bit more stronger. So yeah, time to give him a bit of a groom, a bit of a groom off and yeah. Get him in the school. So Esme, what we're gonna do with Keith now is we've got some poles set up. Yeah. 
This one exercise on the right is called the hog's back. Okay. This exercise on the left is called the sway back. You can see why by the yeah. shapes. <laughs> And he's recently had his hocks medicated, so at the yeah. moment we're doing lots of pole work to get him strengthened. Yeah. So what we do on this one, just a smallish circle round over the poles, sort of in the lunging position. Okay. We'll just do that one a few times, and then we just change on to this left hand exercise. Yeah. Because the poles are slightly different, he has to pick up his legs in a different yeah. way. Mm -hmm. So if you're happy, yeah. I'll pass you this. Thank and you. maybe if you start over on the right, yeah. and over the poles. his rehab yeah he's been doing stretches as well oh. so he i think he's looking at the pony nuts in yep. <laughs> so we stand by his shoulder mm -hmm. let him know we've got some treats and he's just been doing stretches try and keep his feet as still as we can he's trying to come round and low to stretch all around the side of his neck and open up his ribs on the other side as well you can tell he's been doing these recently. He's pretty good. Aww. And another one we do, try and get, that's a good boy. It's come down to his yep. fetlock and it really stretches along his back. Like that, good boy. Aww. So we do that on both sides. And another one that he's really good at. Yeah. We've put the treats, so just. <laughs> <laughs> he knows what's coming. Yeah in between his front legs and he has to come right down. Oh and you can see wow, super boy. boy. <laughs> and you can really see he yeah. lifts, his back really lifts up and stretches. So I don't know if you wanted to have a go on the yeah, other side. Yeah, that would be brilliant. Same thing, yeah. I'll pass cool. you some treats. Thank you. <laughs> He's like, yes, more then, treats. <laughs> yeah. do, do, do. That's it. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah, okay. it's good. We try and get them to hold it for a few seconds yep. as, well, as well, so that's brilliant. So nice and low now. Yeah, low, really stretch along his back and along his ribs. This is the hand with the treats. Good boy. Good boy. Really good. And then do you want to try the one in between his yep. front legs? Here we go. Come, mate. Got it. <laughs> Oh, good, good man. Good boy. There you go. Good oh, boy. brilliant. I still have a little bit left. If you, want you can have that as a oh, treat. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> good hard boy. Today. Well done. Is that fun? That's really good. Well done, mate. <laughs> and then we'll get his rug on and yep. he's ready to go back out to his field with his friends then. Brilliant. Cool. Good boy. Thank you so much for letting me be a groom today and showing me around and helping me out. I've had so much fun. Good. I'm glad you've enjoyed it. You've been a great help. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so guys, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about World Horse Welfare, I'll leave some links in the description below. If you have a day free, then be sure to come and visit here as well. Or if you have some time free, um, they're always looking for new volunteers as well. So thank you so much guys for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, be sure to like and subscribe. It really does help me out. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.